What's up, everybody? It's Big Rob TV, and I'm back with another sneaker video. Happy Juneteenth to everybody out there. For those of you who do not know what that is, it is the day that is recognized as the official last day, the official date that African Americans were freed into this country. The day that America became its own nation, African Americans were still slaves. So Juneteenth recognizes the date that African Americans actually became free and were no longer slaves. Do the research on that, find out the information on that. It's good stuff. It's something to be proud of. Um, but anyway, happy Juneteenth. Today I got another sneaker from Vans, my second pair. I told you once this one came, then all bets were off. It was time for me to roll. I'm into Vans now. I had to get one. I had to try one out. But now I'm in the money. I know how they fit. I know how they feel. And now I'm comfortable. So today we have this guy. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, you know, get some. There we go. Look at this guy. This is this is a hell of a box. I know a lot of times we don't really care about the box and you know what's going on in the box, but look at this nice Marvel Vans box. Boom, with all the characters and things going on on the side here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's take it to the side action. Boom. Boom. This is a nice box, man. And I'm slowly making the transition to the clear cases. It's kind of difficult for me over here to do so. But this is going to be one of those boxes that I'm not going to want to let go because it's just a very nice box, man. Very nice box. But anyway, these are the Marvel Black Panther Skate High. Size 13, of course, for Vans because they run a little big. So let's go ahead and crack these boys open. Man, that is a that is a nice Vans paper. Vans paper. All right. And here is the Vans receipt for all you receipt boys out there. But of course, you all know how I do it right here on Big Rock TV. A left shoe first, baby. Yes, sir. Hold on. Let me get these tags up out the way. Get these tags up out the way. The Black Panther Vans Skate High. Now, some of you may look at this and you may say, Roth, that is just a regular black pair of Vans, which it is just a black pair of Vans. It is. It is just a nice pair of Vans that just so happens to have a little bit of Marvel touch on it. But I don't have any other black Vans, especially not the Skate Highs. I do have the Tribe Called Quest joints, but these are dope. I like the way that these look. I like the material on these and the fact that, you know, it has that, it, just, just calling them the Black Panther. <laughs> just calling them the Black Panther Vans makes them dope to me. So let's get into it, man. On the tongue, you got your Marvel. You got your Marvel there on the tongue. And then on the inside, you pull it up and you got your, oh, there it is. Look on the inside, excuse me. You have your Black Panther there. I don't know if you all can see that, but there is an actual drawing of the Black Panther there on the insole. Um, the gold hits here that are on the, where the lace holes are. You see your gold hits there and on the other side. Move those tags. This is a Marvel Vans tag there. Says, Vans and Marvel join forces to celebrate the iconic off-the-wall superheroes of the Marvel Universe with an epic collaboration across a range of footwear, apparel, and accessories. 
right? The van's off the wall, right there. Boom, van's off the wall, all right? And they come, I kinda, yo, man, my wife's hair is everywhere. Like, I open up a van's box, and my wife's hair, <laughs> no. uh, anyway, it has Marvel on the lace tips there, and it has Marvel on the lace tip on the other side. These are some skinny, kind of waxed laces here. So, yeah, those are pretty dope. Um, on the bottom, straight black, straight black, regular canvas style um, bottoms there. See, there's a little bit of detailing going around the midsole there. Very nice. And I just like the way that the material looks and feels here. It just looks very nice, man. You got a little bit of that suede on the back here suede on the side and going up, suede on the tongue, suede on the toe box area, but it's kind of a neoprene material there with a touch of leather going around here and the nice quality leather up here. Very dope. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and put these boys on feet. All right, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Bring out the left one first. Boom. Brush that off and slide him on. Oh, now he's on there. Lace that boy up. Boom. All right, left one is on foot. And let's get that right one on. I probably should not have tried these on with low cut socks, but whatever. Get it like that. Boom, these shoes actually remind me of another pair of shoes that I constantly forget that I own, which are these. The Converse Chuck Taylor hot. My wife's hair again on the Converse. Get that out of here. Uh, the Converse Chuck Taylor high, the new version of the Chuck Taylor Chuck 2s, which are incredible. These are so much better than the original Chucks. So much more comfortable. But yeah, these vans remind me of these. Sometimes I'll say to myself, Man, I don't have any all black shoes, man. I need something that just a solid, a solid all black. And I'll forget that I have these in, in the closet. But let's get those out of here. Here we are on feet with the Vans. The Black Panther Vans. Marvel and Vans collaboration. Size 13 is definitely perfect on these. Not a bit of a problem at all. My toe would be right about about there. Right about here. So that's where my big toe is on these boys. So perfect. A size 14 would be way too big. And I honestly don't even remember seeing the option for a size 14 on the site. There you see a little bit of that bottom action. Little bottom action there. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of that booty view. Give you a little bit of that booty view. Yes, sir. Excuse the ashy ankles. That's on me. But yeah. Definitely a nice, nice comfort shoe, man. I'm digging these. Digging these right here, man. It don't take much to make a Black Panther shoe. But these hit the hit the mark, man. Definitely hit the mark. And my first pair of skate highs. And not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. But anyway, that's going to do it, man. 
these are definitely a nice shoe. And again, what I love about Vans is that they are cheap. They can be found in many different styles and colorways, and they're cheap and they're fresh. Then such a nice fresh pair of shoes, even collabs. Even the collabs, this is a Marvel collab. This is a Tribe Called Quest collab. 75 bucks. That's it. That's, that's it. A lot of companies, when they want to do their collabs, they're going to charge extra. They might throw 20 extra on there. They might charge 50 extra. They might go ridiculous prices with them. But Vans, $75. $84 shipped for these, if I'm not mistaken. $85, $84, $85 shipped. Like, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. I had no problem spending that. Oh, 75 no, not, you don't even think about it at that price because it's, it's a nice, cheap price. And these are definitely worth $75. They might, I would probably go as far as to say these are worth maybe $100. But getting them at $75, you almost feel like you got a steal. So big up to Vans and big up to Converse on that too because their prices are very similar. But anyway, man, that's going to do it. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. More content is definitely on the way. Uh, thank you for your support. I uh, truly appreciate it, man. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.